Oh, I guess that means us too, Anna. I know, Chi-Chi. Come on then. Something important's happening if all of us are being summoned to the bridge. Because you've got A shift and B shift all being summoned. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I know. I know. Right, let's go there. Okay. Chi-Chi, why are you taking your tool belt? Because I can guarantee you he's going to get us to do a load of repairs, okay? Ready for inspection because at the end of the day, yeah, this ship's going to be here very, very soon. And I reckon he's come up with some bits that need to be fixed, okay? And they're going to use us to do all the shit jobs whilst they sit back and be lazy bastards, okay? It's a good point. I'll put mine on as well. Yeah, no worries. Okay, people, the Metaxa is about to dock, and on the Metaxa is the uh, captured fugitive, old man, the Nephilim that is incredibly dangerous and hazardous to everyone's health. Okay, now there is a strict security bicycle around this spaceship, as well as on that route to the execution chambers. Do you understand? Yes sir, yes, y yes sir, yes sir. Okay then. Now. No one, and I repeat, no one is allowed into what is being called the Red Quarantine Zone. Because if you go in to the Red Quarantine Zone, then you'll be assumed an enemy of the Empire. Unless you have clearance, which none of us have, you must not go into the red zone. The red zone starts from dot 36, which goes through corridor 36A all the way through to 36B, C and D. Then, from the lift shaft, which is the only lift that is being used for this one purpose, you will not be able to access any floors because they've all been locked out. You will then go to corridor 38A into the execution chamber and that is the red route. Now, they are offering tickets to see the live execution and our ship has won two passes into the viewing room of the execution chamber. Now I and the lieutenant will be going to watch this in person and it's not often that we get to see a great high profile execution. It's going to be fun. Is there any questions? I have a question. What is it you and a sapien whore? Why do you think that he's going to be executed? <laughs> And what to make you think he isn't going to be executed? Well, I don't know. It's like he's responsible, directly responsible for killing a prefect and an entire legion of Anunnaki troops that surrounded that compound. He's directly responsible for it, along with his associates who have been separated up. That's why, because they're so dangerous. Do you really think he's going to allow you to uh, kill him. You got another thing coming. You listen to me, you Anasapian, this bitch. I swear down, you change your attitude right now, or I'm going to crush your throat. And I take that gun quick, quick, quick. Let's kill them all. Let's fucking kill them all. No, 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 
Captain, I think all your crew are dead. I've killed them all. And if I've killed them all, then imagine, imagine what this rogue Nephilim can do. Oh well. I think I'm going to take your pass. Yeah. I'm going to go in your place. Hmm. Okay. Now, there's one thing you can do for me before you die. Well, you see, that screwdriver that's in your belly. I'm just going to, I don't know. Ah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm twisting it around. <laughs> and I'm enjoying every moment of this. Chichi, what are you doing? What are you doing? We've gone and killed them all. Yeah, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that, Anna. Because we're going to take the ship. You ain't gonna take the ship. Tell the computer to transfer all command codes to me now, or you'll be in the most amount of pain for the rest of your life, which isn't going to be much longer. Well, I guess I'm going to have to put another screwdriver here. Computer, transfer all command codes to GG as of now. Please state clearance code. Alpha one two five zero. Command transfer. Code accepted. Uh, now, do you want a quick death or a very painful slow death? <laughs> Slow, stabby, painful death with multiple screwdrivers, you cunt! <laughs> Computer, recognise Chi Chi as the commander of this ship. Confirmed. Computer, retract the gangway. Computer, complete. Chichi, what are you doing? What are we supposed to do now? Well, I'll tell you what we are going to do. And uh, I'm going to go and free the old man. How are you going to do that? Well, I've got, a, I've got an idea. Um, I'm going to go to the medical bay and get a syringe full of nanites. Have them pre-programmed for resurrection. What? Yeah, yeah, look. If I get to the execution and watch it happen, I can then go backstage and uh, just insert them with nanites and bring it back to the Rhapsody. That's a point. Computer. You will now recognise the Rhapsody as the HMS Bounty. Computing. Working. Complete. This ship is now recognised as the HMS Bounty. Excellent. Chi Chi, where have you got that name from? Well, there's something that I learnt about human history a long time ago. And what's that? Well, there was this sailing ship that crossed an ocean and the prisoners on there mutinied and took over the ship. And that was called the HMS Bounty. And that's where the term Bounty Hunter comes from because people were hunting that ship for a long time. Our ship is now the HMS Bounty. Right, Anna, what you need to do now is um, just stay on the bridge. If anyone tries to contact, you just uh, say that we're having computer-wide issues and we're trying to repair them as we speak. And the doors are affected, etc. Yeah, just keep them stored. Okay. Yeah, no worries. But what are we gonna do about these bodies? Don't worry about those. I've got a plan for them later on. Just um, 
sit there and watch all the screens. You've got you don't have to you don't even have to pay for pay-per-view. Look, you've got the execution room live on that feed there. They've already paid for it. Awesome. Right, good luck, sister. I know. Thank you. And thank you, Anna. We'll do this. We'll do this. Thank you for listening to The Bounty, a 30 years since story. If you enjoy any of our content, why not check out our other story-based podcasts? They are A Tribute to Men That Hate Their Jobs and Gumshoe. All the links for those are in the description below. We also have our Total Entertainment podcast, where I talk about the process of setting up a live show and a review of that show as well as having the odd interview of a grassroots entertainer, musician or singer. The link for that is also in the description below. Until next time guys, bye for now.